Hello Agrimates! This is Sir Ilocana Vlogger Carla and welcome back to my channel. And for this content, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make fermented fruit juice. What are we waiting for? Let's get started! What is fermented fruit juice? It's made from ripened fruits and contains nutrients needed to enhance fruit production and ripening. This concoction contains high level of potassium content, increases soil nutrients, as well as in the plants incorporated in that soil. What to prepare? We have 1 kg banana fruit, permanent marker, bond paper, masking tape, molasses, manila paper, Beaker, clean and dry buckets, rubber band, tissue, and of course, never forget your personal protective equipment. Peel off 1 kg banana fruit and place it in the bucket. Measure at least 1 kg of molasses. Then pour the molasses into the bucket atop the fruit. Next, cover the mixture with manila paper. Then use a rubber band to help secure the cover. You can add another rubber band to assure the opening's security. But if you don't have rubber bands handy, you can use masking tape instead. But in this case, we use them both to ensure that our ferment is well secured. On each side, label the following, the title of your ferment, the date of processing, and the expected date of harvest. Now, let it ferment for about 7 days or 1 week. Never forget to place it in a cool, dry, shady place. What to prepare? We have clean empty plastic bottles, funnel, surgical gloves, strainer, basin, masking tape, permanent marker, and of course, never forget your personal protective equipment. Use the strainer and funnel to get the extracts. You can use any size of plastic bottles as long as they are sanitized. Squeeze thoroughly to release the juice.
So this is the outcome of our fermented fruit juice. The procedures are almost the same with fermented plant juice. The difference is that we used various plant parts for FPJ while we used ripened fruits for FFJ. Important reminders If using non-sweet fruits, double the amount of molasses to be used. The fermenting process continues and the liquid at the bottom of the jar turns completely black, which typically takes a few months. The liquid is still usable until then. Fermenting fruit attracts fruit flies. Be sure enough to keep the top of bucket sealed tightly to avoid pest issues. A good ferment always gives a slightly alcoholic, sour, sweet smell. Dosage, 2 tablespoons per 1 liter of water. Frequency, spray or drench twice a week. Its material ratio is 1 is to 1. What are the benefits of fermented fruit juice? This concoction serves as potassium fertilizer to increase crop yield and as food supplement for water additive for animals. So that's it! I hope you guys learned something from this vlog. Do subscribe now and don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep you updated in this channel as always. This is all for now and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye for now!